Temperatures in the Gulf Coast states are looking well beyond the cleanup of beaches and marshes and into the potential long term health concerns of the oil spill. And already there is evidence that people have chemicals in their blood systems from the cleanup. Meg Ferris has the story. The medical experts want answers to the tough questions many are asking about the future when it comes to the massive oil spill. We are concerned. Uh, one, there's been um, exposures of workers and some coastal communities. There's some questions about food. Uh, the best way to address this, in our opinion, is to replace politics with science. Doctors and scientists from nine universities from across the Gulf Coast now have a consortium to collect health data now and possibly for decades to come. LSU Health Sciences Center and Texas A&M are heading it up. We know the communities. We live in the communities. We eat the food. We're not going to disappear after it's over. Studies have begun. There are complaints from workers, the headaches, the dizziness, the asthma made worse, the increase in alcohol and drugs to cope. And they know components of crude oil are a health risk. In occupational settings where people are exposed to these chemicals, they do develop cancer. Spray on. Spray on. Another concern is the 2-butoxyethanol in dispersants. It has not been officially classified as a human carcinogen. However, it is an animal carcinogen and can cause cancers in animals. In fact, these doctors already have evidence that 21% of people who worked with the dispersants now have it in their blood. I'm not surprised that uh, they already have it in their blood system because it's a uh, very volatile compound that can be breathed in uh, very quickly. LSU is already testing tar and oil and dispersant samples in human cells. But other questions remain. What do they do to our genes, the food chain, the workers who cleaned up the land and wildlife? What about unborn babies, the health of future pregnancies of women exposed? What about all the chemicals now being thrown in the landfills with the used boom? Already they are gathering names of people who've been exposed firsthand. I live three blocks away from the Mississippi River. I'm still eating the food. I'm not moving. Uh, you know, it's, 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 as far as I'm concerned, it's a safe environment. But as a scientist, I have to be a little skeptical and raise an issue that nobody knows the long-term effects. Meg Farris, Channel 4 Eyewitness News. There have been no studies done four years past an oil spill. A new future is in store for the Mishu Assembly Facility in New Orleans East. The plant, which was known for creating the fuel tanks for the space program, is getting into the business of green energy. Lucy Bustamante joins us live now from Mishu with the details. Lucy.